प्रबोधमानुषु शु कुतुष्टिपुष्टि अनुभासम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट परमंश परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन गुरु चरण लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु देव that by not at all taking 100% shelter onto the lotus feet of guru charan you need to get a lot of uh, loss in your life transcendental loss you just need to get a transcendental loss in your life and you will fall down from your consciousness gauri goshti pati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramas jagat guru told that on the lotus feet of guru dev if 100% that atma samarpan you have done then definitely you need to face a big transcendental loss you will get cheated a big loss you will get in your transcendental life spiritual life definitely if we are thinking like this that if we are thinking like this that that uh, lotus feet of guru dev just uh, at the if we have got the mantra from guru pad padma we have got hari naam we have got gayatri diksha mantra everything we got what we need to do okay now we can go away that guru dev whether he should die what we need to do he should die then <laughs> that we have got the mantra from guru dev what we require now everything is done but for the jeevas are not all understanding what the prabhupad speaking that the prabhupad speaking that the the jeevas are not at all understanding that in actual that in 100% that guru pad padma with 100% shelter if you i am not at all ready to take 100% shelter of guru pad padma if 100% with full surrender mood that i am not at all taking shelter of the lotus feet of guru dev i am not at all ready then then from my side this is this is one kind of cheating that kapat bhav is there this is one kind of cheating propensity what i am showing from my side the prabhupad always used to speak i all i have already just from our guru varg big big guru varg i have already heard that that parvat ko swami maharaj that whose uh, birth is done in godrum and bhaktivinod thakur he has just heard chaiv dharma <laughs> you see now you understand that he parvat ko sai maharaj he is actually is telling that prabhu sometimes the prabhupad always used to be very unhappy with full sorrowful mood he used to speak that my my that my vichar that my direct vichar that what i am speaking that exactly that nobody wants to speak exactly what i want to speak always used to speak prabhupad with a very unhappy mood that exactly they don't like to speak this always the prabhupad used to speak what i am speaking they don't want to speak at all uh, on those on those times all our guru were used to speak the po- point of the prabhupad but still the prabhupad always used to do a lot of strict prohibitions on us that what i am speaking exactly nobody is speaking preaching means preaching means that guru vaishnav to expose guru vaishnav you haven't understood what i'm speaking what preaching doesn't mean that you just need to project yourself and you just need to hide guru vaishnav no not not like that that those persons who are doing this like this kind of preaching whether he is international preacher whosoever is i will not speak the name of anyone that this preaching is all failure that preaching the actual target of preaching should be that guru vaishnav bhagwan to expose them especially guru vaishnav you need to expose why because guru vaishnav if they are actually coming in front of our eyes in actual correct correct view we are getting then automatically bhagwan will get satisfied with us 
that bhakti I am doing and no anand is there, no happiness is there, no kind of, uh, no, no realization is coming what to do. That in the starting I have already started. That shlok which I have started is from Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. That from 11th Kento. Bhakti hi parishan bhava viraktir annatro chaisatri ko ek kalaha prapadda manasho yatha asnataha shu tushti pushti hi khud payo unghasam Nobody wants to understand this. All this actually is connected to each other. With one, everything is connected with other. If bhakti is there, then it means that Bhagavad Anubhav definitely will be there. Para Ishu Anubhava. It means that Para means that absolute Isho means Parameshwar and Bhagwan to just re- get realization about Bhagwan. With bhakti, that that's already connected with that and Parishanu Bhav actually is done then when you will go ahead definitely Virakti Anakta will definitely be done we have a pre to lotus feet of Bhagavad lotus feet of Bhagavad and we have actually uh, love for name fame position also it is not at all possible Anatra means that other than Krishna Seva, that Krishna topics, we are feeling attraction for other things as well. It is not at all possible at all. Anatra means Virakti Anatra means that no interest is there apart from Krishna Seva. Anatra means that, uh, that for some particular object on that particular wish, that Bhagavad Vajan, there is no kind of connection at all. That kind of vishay is actually called virakti. In this vishay, we know we have no interest at all. That all the time simultaneously at one time, this at one time simultaneously it is done. All, all together, all these three things. These all three things will be done simultaneously. What? Who will get that? Prapadamanasya. That who all the time is getting Sharnagati onto lotus feet of Bhagwan and Guru Vaishnav means who have just got that Sharnapati onto lotus feet of Guru Vaishnav. Definitely they will get that. If not at all possible, then definitely something is wrong in, in that. Definitely he is kapat. He is actually cheater. He is fraudster number one. That's why actually he is, uh, not, nothing is happening in him. And some other examples are also there. That Ashtadhatu means that to eat, that's to eat, to take prasadam. That the actual prasadam of uh, eyes is that all these kind of material things you are watching, that material things and activities you are watching, what is moving and non-moving? This is the actual food of eyes, and the actual food of ears is to hear very nice, nice uh, material talkings. Eh? Nice material talkings you will be doing and hearing. This is the only case. No, what to do? That uh, kind of uh, the nose, it wants to smell nice, nice uh, perfume scent. I have already know this kind of person also. That in one month, so thousands of rupees, he is actually using itar and this perfume, etc. All actually is using and uh, uh, is just uh, using that on that by buying those perfumes. He is actually having lot of, is fond of perfumes. And even in one day at one time, different, different kind of itar and perfumes he is actually applying. So costly perfumes they are. 
एंड इज अपलाइंग सो अप टिल वॉट पॉइंट विल गो होल वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली इज फुलिश होल वर्ल्ड वॉट टू स्पीक नो बडी एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू स्पीक सम एक्चुअली इज डूइंग समथिंग सम एक्चुअली इज डूइंग समथिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओन ईगो जस्ट बाई टेकिंग प्रसादम हेयर अश्नत वॉट इज इज रिटर्न इट इज एक्चुअली जस्ट टू टेक फूड अबाउट दैट हाउ आईज आर ईटिंग अबाउट ईयर्स अबाउट नोज वॉट दे आर ईटिंग भोजन मीन्स टू टेक टू टेक प्रसादम ओके वॉट एवर वी द केस लाइक इफ यू समन एक्चुअली इज टेकिंग फूड इफ एक्चुअली समन इज टेक ईटिंग फूड ऑटोमेटिकली दैट ही इज एक्चुअली स्टार्विंग फ्रॉम लॉट ऑफ डेज एंड इज वेरी हंगरी एंड स्लोली स्टेडली हीज हार्ट इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फेक्शन एंड हिज लिवर इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फेक्शन तुष्टी मीन्स दैट हार्ट इज एक्चुअली सेटिस्फाइड एंड आवर बॉडी इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग नरिस्ड एंड सो मच डेज इज एक्चुअली स्टार्विंग एंड गेटिंग हंगर दिस ऑल दीज थिंग्स इज गेटिंग ऑल द टाइम सेटिस्फाइड एट वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स ऑल द टाइम ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स आर गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड एट वंस differently they are not at all satisfied lot of uh, prasadam they have taken and after taking prasadam even one one grass just he is actually taking in his mouth and with that he is satisfying all his senses and his heart and his body is also getting nutrition nutrition and all the sense organs and he is getting the top most satisfaction of his heart and his actual satisfaction is also coming that is the actual rules this all these three things are actually getting at once the guru vishnu want to their lotus feet they have already came and uh, in order to just uh, surrender onto the guru vishnu lotus feet but that kind of ashray actual ashray they haven't taken at all so whatever in whatever percentage i have that uh, atma samarpan self surrender i haven't done according to that ratio automatically automatically you will get cheated nothing we can do in that nothing we can do in that at all so whatever be the case jeev satantra that jeevas are all independent that on to jeevas we cannot pressurize or force them at all if it you will pressurize them then it will become one karm kand on the jeevas that all those jeevas are independent and jeevas that independent bhav is there of the jeevas that independent uh, swarup of liberty liberty that kind of diamond what bhagwan has given them that jeevas if you are doing uh, force force the pressurizing them then it will become karma kand the result will get opposite you will get an opposite fruit and result that jeevas their actual independence in that liberty that whatever liberty the jeevas are getting satantrata hai that liberty is there of the jeevas in that bhagwan not at all actually not at all disturbing them not interrupting in their liberty at all that whatever independent bhav the jeevas are having bhagwan is not at all putting any kind of interruption in that at all no interruption is done by bhagwan in that if someone actually questioning why bhagwan not at all if he is actually giving all problem will be solved no it's not like that bhakti vinod thakur speaking in context to this that you just please understand this point very carefully very carefully in that that there is no point uh, there is no uh, dosh of bhagwan in that if jeevas just like material remote control he is actually making them uh, accord, run according to his own that the excellency of the jeevas that topmost utkarsh and excellency of the jeeva that kind of excellency will definitely will not be possible it is not at all possible it won't be possible for the jeevas to get that kind of such excellency how that excellency they can attain that already that that liberty if it is there that if he is actually using it or misusing it it's on his own and if he is using it on a right way then definitely he'll get a right result out of that but bhagwan if on the like material activities like a material remote control they are controlling the jeevas then in that what will happen that the excellency of the jeevas that jeevas can go anywhere that jeevas in their life they want to increase and elevate their material life that he can go up till this life that you can't even imagine 
that in Braj Dham also he can go, that elevation he can attain, in Braj Bhumi that his own Swaroop, accord with his own Swaroop that he can do Seva of Bhagwan, which is extremely impossible to get. That's why that independent object, that are independent jivas, that for independent jivas, they have their own responsibility. The independent jivas have their own responsibility that they are actually want to elevate themselves or either they can degrade themselves to hell. Both possibilities are there for the jivas. Why? Because jiva is actually is coming from the Tathastha Shakti of Bhagwan. The divas can go above also and they can go degrade down as well. So because it's Tathastha Shakti, that elevation and degradation both can be done in the case of jivas. And for that, uh, to Bhagwan, we are not at all. Bhagwan is not at all responsible for it. Why? Because Bhagwan himself in Gita is uh, openly speaking in Gita. What is speaking? That we. We, for all the jivas, whatever kind of uh, good or bad deeds they are performing, I am not at all uh, ready to take that. Why I will take that? You tell me why I will take that. If someone actually putting question, why you will not take that? And why I will take? If Bhagwan himself is speaking this point, that Bhagwan himself is speaking this point in front of us, that we that no kind of sinful activity neither good deeds I am not at all ready to take of the jivas Bhagavan him speaking that I have already given them liberty so that automatically he can decide automatically he can make the decision making he can have the decision making automatically that where to go actually nothing we can do at all if inside our heart that very nice and good inside our heart that any nice uh, desire is there then we can go above if uh, this kind of liberty that topmost uh, rare liberty like diamond we are actually misusing that then definitely we need to get the react face the reactions of that bhagwan how he can get responsible for all this you tell me in this bhagwan don't have anything to do at all bhakti no thakur shila sajidan bhakti no thakur has already just speaking more and more things what is that that this liberty that jivas in order to get independence this independence of jivas that if they, just because of the misuse of this liberty jivas are getting lot of unhappiness and sorrow okay it is okay that shloka is okay maybe no starting is there of the jivas it is already there with him he can go ahead he can go back as well whatever be the case it's according to his sanskar the jivas that kind of uh, sorrowfulness or unhappiness it is this kind of sorrow and unhappy this is uh, the direct uh, this is directly given by Bhagwan. It's not like that at all. That Bhagwan is actually. We cannot put any blame on Bhagwan at all. Bhagwan is not at fault at at this. In Gita also it is written that after the creation work is done, Bhagwan speaking. How Bhagwan actually just uh, arranged everything. How with full rules and regulations of the Vedas by that, that Vedas, that kind of instructions of the Vedas, just by doing the, just by following that and then not following the Shastri injunction that definitely unhappiness the Jeevas will be getting, definitely they will get if they will not follow the Shastri injunctions.
विचार By just uh, finishing the vichar, I actually already spoken that in the second shlok. But inside our heart, I made this kind of vichar that if uh, I cannot uh, do the detailed discussion, then I will go ahead and no use of discussing it again. मुकुंद भ्रष्टत्वे स्मरो परमजस्त्र नुनुमनु इसे थोड़ा बहुत पीछे आ गया दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव जस्ट कम अ बिट बैक दैट काइंड ऑफ दंभ दैट दंभ ठाकुर जी ने दैट ठाकुर भक्ति में ठाकुर हैज डन द डिवीजन ऑफ दंभ दैट दंभ यू कैन कॉल माया एज़ वेल इट मींस दैट हु हैज माया डेफिनेटली ही इज दंभिक जो छल दैट हु इज एक्चुअली जस्ट बाय चीटिंग एंड कपट भाव छल मीन्स छली बल्ली दैट हाउ रावण एक्चुअली जस्ट टेकन सीता देवी बाय चीटिंग दैट वॉट एक्चुअली इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर ही हैज इज डूइंग दैट इज ऑल छल माया वाई इट्स ऑल चीटिंग वन काइंड ऑफ इल्यूजनरी चीटिंग ही हैज डन इट मीन्स दैट विद वन पर्पज ही हैज श्योर इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट अचीवमेंट ऑफ द अदर पर्पज दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल छल एंड अविद्या मीन्स That vidya, avidya, these are two things. In this material, there are two things. One is avidya, and second one is vidya. Avidya. That avidya. Avidya, what is avidya? What is avidya? Avidya means. Bhagwan ka. That Bhagwan. Bhagwat gyan hai. That Bhagwat gyan. That Jib gyan. That Jib gyan. That opposite Abhi, what it is. That is actually what the vidya. vidya. That vidya vid, that with vid vidha to in order to understand that and that aprakrit aprakrit transcendental bhagavat tattv. Prachida and the vigra we can get the news of that. If that realization comes, then that is called vidya. And in the shastras also it is written. That education up till what point you have to do? What is the final educational qualification you are to do? If you are doing education whole life, everything you are doing, but up till what point you will do? Go. What is the final final goal of the education? What is the final point of education? That up till Vidya Bhagwat you have to go to move to that point. Maybe. That Vigvat Vidya Bhagwat Avadi. That is the end point. That may be Vidya Bhagwat Avadi. This is one limitation or end point. It's already indicated. But still, be sure. But be sure. Okay. But Bhagwat itself will finish. That Bhagwat is itself infinity. So our uh, uh, education is up till Bhagwat. It means it has no limitation. It is unlimited. It will go on in increasing. Our Vidya up till what point you will go and take it? You understand so, the point where I am speaking. So Vidya and Avidya. Two kind of uh, Vidya are coming. Pratipatta. So Nakya Pandya also writing very nicely regarding this. Ato na ye to. दूसरा चीज लिखा है ये एक्चुअली रिटर्न चनक्य पंडित राइटिंग अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टुगेदर शास्त्रो शास्त्रंचो दो विद दे विद दे प्रतिपत्ताई शास्त्रो शास्त्रंचो ये तो मजाक का बात है सुंदर 
This vichar is also good, but our vichar is actually a slightly different vichar. There, the Pandit ji actually speaking there that what Pandit ji has told Shastro means that Ashtra Shastra, all different kind of women who are actually very much ready to experience to just use those weapons. Addo means, like previously I told, that all kind of weapons who are actually using that kind of vidya regarding how to use weapons that is also coming from Vedas. Ayurved, Dhanurved, everything, all these Vedas it is coming. So, so nice actually written. You see, it, this is also a good point. That there are two kind of education. One is that kind of uh, Astra Vidya and Shastra and Shastra uh, knowledge. About that you need to make which are two knowledge I have told you. But in the old in the old age, when you will go, if I will be speaking that you do one thing, that you have to just uh, uh, use the weapons. Are how I can use weapons in old age? So that's why you see so nice uh, vichar is there actually. Very nice vichar is there actually. But this, uh, those who are intelligent, he is getting more and more in old age, then he is actually more, his uh, value will go on increasing. Why? Because his experience will go more and more up. His experience will go more and more up. That, uh, like Shankar Bhagwan, we are actually speaking. Vridhashiv. What does it mean? You tell me. Someone can understand what I'm speaking. That Vridhashiv means that Gyan Vridha, full of intelligence. That means Bhakti Tattva, so much experience is there, top most in depth which are is there that we cannot even explain and speak. That's why it is written here. Shankar Bhagwan. He is actually called Vridhashiv, means that he is topmost intelligent, full of knowledge, divine knowledge, Divya Gyan. And Devi Maya is actually Podama. Poda, Poda means that it's already been burned up. That here actually with their persons speaking that how they are pronouncing. Podama, Podama, Podama. Are, who, what is Podama? That your mother is actually burned up. Eh? You are thinking Podama means that to get ignited, to burn up. But they are actually speaking all wrong about Ma. Paudama means Pauda. Paudama. Pauda means Pravina. That Paranmasi, na, she is. So, Paranmasi she is. That Paranmasi can just uh, uh, show anger on Radharani and Krishna also. You do like this, you do like that. For even each and every person of the Brajadham, to Paranmasi, they are actually showing, uh, pa- speaking Pai Lagi, just uh, obeisances on till lotus feet. Like in the material world we are speaking now, Pai Lagi, oh, obeisances to my grandfather, but Paran- to Paranmasi directly, everyone used to pay obeisances on to his, on to her lotus feet, every Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya, everyone in Brajadham. Nobody knows about this, about Paranmasi. Yeah, so this Paudama means that Pauda. Pauda means very ancient, very experienced, very experienced. So this is the actual meaning of that. So whatever be the case, that Vidya is of two types, knowledge. And by Avidya, that Avidya is also from Bhagwan only. It is not coming from the air. That Avidya is from Bhagwan, but directly it is not from Bhagwan. Indirectly, that Maya Devi, that ba- Maya, Devi. Ba- Maya Devi, who is the Shakti of Bhagwan, it is actually getting introduced by Maya Devi. 
this actually is getting activated by Maya Devi. That's why Bhagwan actually is just uh, activating that in that inert Maya. So this uh, very previously I have already discussed this point in front of this from Brahma Samhita and after that uh, in Upadesh I have already discussed that Ki Dhamba that in order to classify Dhamba Bhakti Muna Thakur showing analytically that is actually called Maya, Chal, Challi, Balli all actually we are doing no? Avidya they are all Dhamb because from where Dhamb is coming you tell me Dhamb in Guru Vaishnav it is not at all possible at all and if Dhamb is there then definitely be sure that Avidya is there that this uh, very nice big Acharya used to speak. Very nice big Acharya used to speak this. This, due to ignorance, different kind of problems can arise. So I have already told that you are also in ignorance. That how you have done this that you should be feeling very shy why you have just uh, told like this that all uh, big big Mahapurush you are all insulting them why you are doing that that is also this is also good to speak you tell me so Dhamba means that Maya Bhaktivinoda Thakur apart from him no even whole father of the infinity universe have this kind of uh, capacity to speak like this Dhamba actually means called Maya Challi Balli Avidya and after that uh, kapatta ignorance that your own swarup is just getting uh, that if you are doing with the your hidden swarup whatever you are doing like a very golden deer like one golden deer that marich became a golden deer in front of ramchandra this is all kapat and uh, asaralta that uh, asaralta means that kind of there is lack of saralta inside your heart that humble mood that straightforwardness of the heart is missing that to your heart whatever be the normal humble condition that uh, straight humble mood that is just by not having that that for that you will become uh, asaral that complicacy will be there inside your heart shatya means means shat the one is speaking actually is this and the other is doing that so when you are actually collecting all of them the actual meaning is of that is Dhamma Srila Bhakti no Thakur actually speaking Srila Bhakti no Thakur actually speaking that you see that in the Bhakti Anushilan that in the pathway of Bhakti Anushilan in the pathway of Bhakti Anushilan if that that Bhakti that kind of bhakti, maturity and elevation, if you have other kind of desire, if some other kind of desire is getting entangled inside your heart, if some kind of a material craving is coming inside your heart, then definitely you never need to get a big loss. Why? Because that pure bhakti, that is the actual definition, that is what is written in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran regarding the definition of pure devotion. That the actual uh, meaning of uh, pure devotion is that So if Bhakti Vinod Thakur is speaking that uh, Shuddh Bhakti at the, in the pathway of Shuddh Bhakti Anushilan if the elevation of Shuddh Bhakti, if you are getting that, then apart from elevation in your Shuddh Bhakti, that no kind of other desire is not at all there inside your heart. Apart from Shuddh Bhakti, that if it is having some kind of karma or gyan inside his heart, then definitely he, it will get disadvantage. That is called Kapat, that he has just came for Guru Seva. Whether he is actually doing Guru Seva externally, yes, but inside his heart, that his Kapat Bhav is there. Up till Gurudev, what point he will he will uh, he will stay in this material world? I will just loot everything. I'll cheat him and take everything. I have seen lot of people in the wish of Acharya. They are just doing like that only. One Maharaj he has done seva a lot. 
externally one brahmachari has done seva of maharaj i will not speak his name at all that name is the not that my name is not that much important name is not that much important i will not speak the name but i am just giving you an example he is just doing at the last time he is doing vaishnav of seva and at at after that what happened that uh, whatever kind of money of the maharaj ji in the bank he just taken that everything you understand the point so like this it is that is called kapat that seva he is doing externally but uh, with some other desire he is having material desire that is kapat bhav that is actually kapat bhav that by having that kapat bhav bhakti you will not get elevated at all shuddha bhakti won't stay inside your heart at all so bhakti on bhakti over bhakti if gyan and karma some kind of influence is there then definitely opposite will happen that bhakti mr thakur our rushila rup ko swami pad has written in context to this bhakti mr thakur our rushila rup ko swami pad has just written this in this context about the actual definition of shuddha bhakti he has explained that in that actually in the definition it is been spoken by shila rup ko swami pad that if someone that gan gyan karma di anavrita means that You understand the point what I'm speaking. Kyanu karma di anna vilasita sun. Anna vilas lene se that by having anna vilas you will become kapat. You understand the point. By having anna vilas without any anna vilas no kind of material smell of these material desire should be there inside your heart. Even smell of material desire should not be there inside your heart. It should not touch you like the case one camphor one kapoor you know camphor one camphor is there one camphor is there that you can see one hing according to the shastric injunction they are speaking if in one pot or uh, container it is been put for lot of days it is been put that you are been putting hing inside that uh, closed container you are putting hing that you are just putting that container and you are using it for lot of time you are using that hing but now now you actually from last one year you are not at all using hing and you are not at all putting any hing in that particular container in which the hing was there that previously from previous year that you haven't you are not at all putting any hing inside that container at all but but uh, be sure believe me that this container when you will open it definitely some smell of hing will definitely come out of that that camphor and hing both will the the empty container will just give a smell of that if it is being put also shila rup goswami pad has spoken it means that anna vilas that smell of anna, anna vilas should not be there then only it is possible after that that gyan and karma by that that asprisht which is not at all touch or touched or contaminated by gyan and karma you understand the point anna vilasita shunyam gyan karma di anavrita aur iska baad bola and after that it is been spoken lot of uh, uh, top most uh, detailed discussion in that at the time of bhakti rasamrit sindhu by the by all your kripa i have done that by bhagwat kripa i have done the discussion you can see that and uh, when you'll go forward you can understand this anya bilash shitani sunam that definitely i have already discussed this in details by the kripa of bhagwan and after that the, about this also i have just discussed a detailed discussion on this anukel anukulena krishna nushilanam about this also i have discussed a lot in details by speaking anikul that pratikul that abhav if someone is actually uh, believing if someone actually is thinking or believing like that that by speaking anukul that pratikul is not at all there and pratikul means that definitely anukul will not be there and uh, from the opposite point from opposite end in someone is thinking oppositely 
and from the opposite end if someone is thinking oppositely he is thinking like yashoda mother mother yashoda is just giving breast milk to uh, to small uh, krishna when he just immediately yashoda mother mother yashoda just gone that uh, milk was there on the for boiling that special milk was there on the chula for boil boiling purpose she immediately just uh, uh, just uh, she just went to take the boil uh, boiled milk over that and uh, gopal became angry so yashoda mother yashoda is doing some kind of mistake so yeah, she is doing opposite she has done abhakti this which are actually is coming hmm. so this which are definitely will come no because krishna is becoming angry angry with mother yashoda so this all this ati vyapti ama vyapti lot of vichar is there in the shastras those people who are totally under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav they have just read uh, vedant sutra or heard vedant sutra analytically by the mouth of lotus mouth of pure guru vaishnav that is topmost vedant is topmost in vedant everything is there that only they can understand that conception whereas you can see bhagwan sometimes he is getting satisfaction in in some uh, in some vishay bhagwan ka sandesh bhagwan is sometimes getting happiness like jay vijay bhagwan has just told them to go to uh, to the earth so that i can get that uh, vijay uh, jay ras i can taste that i can be ras i can taste vijay vijay are actually just uh, killing bhagwan and they are fighting with that, that bhagwan actually is feeling very well so we will also do like that no not like that so lot of things are there ati vyapti ama ana vyapti lot of vichar is there in that so whatever be the case that uh, bhakti over bhakti if gyan and karma are still there anavrit we are actually speaking here because gyan that at 100% to you cannot throw gyan at all that is why anavrit anavrit means uncovered uncovered or which is not contaminated by maya that gyan and karma material gyan and karma the first vichar is that that gyan what is there if it is actually anukulya to bhagavat tat you understand the point that knowledge divine knowledge it is uh, it is for the satisfaction of bhagwan that gyan which will just help us in uh, our bhakti then definitely it is not at all prohibited this is not at all prohibited so that's why anavritam it is told not shunyam gyan definitely knowledge is required without knowledge what we will do but this uh, knowledge should be anukul to bhakti then only it is good that by getting that uh, anukul knowledge gyan nothing will happen to our bhakti at all our bhakti will remain safe our karma bolne se and by speaking karma are i am also doing kitchen i am also making prasadam that at the night time in the night time in the day time just by giving salary to that person that more than 5000 is getting all family and all mutt they are actually taking prasadam by his hand then you will get this much cash <laughs> so by this someone actually is actually taking the seva of the mutt some uh, so that this kind of seva that salary is taking i thought that in some society some international society there are some salaries there brahmachari is getting salary and sanyasi everyone is getting on salary <laughs> i actually started laughing are what is that but still they are actually the brain is washed so much that the whole material world they don't even question them that what you are doing they have so much uh, super tactics and techniques they are having that it in order to wash the brain of others definitely they going to go in front in uh, they will go in back in front of them only that is there so much good nice technique they are having they are washing the brain of others hmm. so this this is actually maya that krishna no shilanam if you are doing that gyan and karma if it is there that i have myself has told 
that red cloth brahmachari he is actually just uh, <laughs> buying and selling ladies clothes and he is uh, selling cut um, that scent everything he is actually essential commodities he is actually selling everything in the market and i am telling him what you are doing what you are doing actually that no smell of bhakti is there at all if it is there then you just take my name as talk not at sham baba if there is no smell of bhakti at all but externally he is actually very nice red cloth huh? nice tilak mala is there on him <laughs> every hotel hotel everything is there everything everything is going on what to do i am actually becoming shocked that they are actually what you are doing they what by by what purpose they are came here in uh, sanyas life just by ignoring everything of this material life that the grahasti in the same way like grahasti in the gras life that definitely some enjoyment is there that's why they are doing grahast so what kind of enjoyment there is uh, grahast jeevan that brahmachari and sanyasi also have that kind of enjoyment similarly in their ashram but they don't know that what kind of enjoyment is there transcendental enjoyment someone actually came there just all devotees just came there at that day and they were speaking that especially one special mat some international uh, preaching they have done i am not at all speak the name ganga ka ghat that at the bank of ganga <laughs> they were actually distributing blouse of mata ji they are actually distributing i myself has seen that in gokul one foolish he is actually distributing that uh, that that bangles bin the lipstick everything is uh, who father has told you to just uh, take this some father has told you that you have to just uh, give, give this to other this is actually totally against bhakti that is is all actually rubbish and foolish what you are actually doing this this is the actual work of sanyasi just to give uh, bangal blouse lipstick bindi everything you are giving to mother ha huh? maiya uh, mata ji and you are actually accepting that only on this uh, all people are actually running behind them only what to do nothing is you, they are to do at all ab kali kal mein and in kali kal bhayankar avastha that very dangerous situation there yesterday only in bangla bengali katha i was actually speaking very very dangerous situation very very dangerous that even in dream also you cannot uh, think so this much this kind of situation has been uh, done and it is actually more and more going ahead just by their own will they are actually moving that's it that if we have to do some kind of guru seva then this is one common sense common sense is not there inside the person that from where divine knowledge they will get those who don't have common sense those who don't have can't have gan how they can get dipa gan divine knowledge they can't get at all they don't have in bengali we are speaking kanda gan those who don't have kanda gan how they can get divine knowledge you tell me that uh, i have done some guru seva already <laughs> that the first point is here is that that by that what you have done by showing guru seva have you taken any information from gurudev that uh, what a gurudev likes or what gurudev dislike because bhakti means that seva means that uh, the actual satisfaction of the sev vyavastu and you are actually just uh, disremembering that you are not disremembering you are not at all knowing this point so you haven't made this kind of vichar at all so what to do you haven't uh, heard also this which are that uh, who is the object of service that who is the object of service sev vyavastu sev vy object just for his satisfaction sev sev vastu ka that to sev vastu ka for the satisfaction of the sev vy object in order to satisfy him in order to satisfy him that is called seva that have you haven't taken any news that what gurudev likes that whether gurudev will just get happy whether gurudev will get happy if gurudev he is actually getting more ahead he is actually more than prabhupad you are actually uh, doing that whether gurudev will get happy with that you understand you can you can think like that that he will get satisfied that some gurudev seva before that we have to make this vichar that we have to make this vichar definitely that gurudev will get satisfied or not that i have made one nice temple or this i have done a lot of things you are doing okay i haven't taken the news 
that that whether gurudev will get happy with this or not then only the seva will be done otherwise it will become one museum <laughs> it will become one kind of museum it will become museum no you haven't understood the point you haven't heard the what to do in your life you haven't heard then if you were heard then only the vichar will come no you haven't heard what you can do then <laughs> no common sense is there that very nice uh, he has taken diksha very nicely very old and he is speaking that i have what you are speaking that uh, i haven't heard how you can hear if you have that desire to hear then only you will hear no otherwise how you will hear that guru vishnu has just cheated you that's why they haven't given you this opportunity to hear now you hear if you have the opportunity now you hear it that in bhakti anushilan that gyan and karma that is anavrit that gyan and karma if some influence is there that externally i am doing bhakti you be careful on this point i am doing bhakti but internally have some influence of gyan and karma so then it will be bhakti you are shunyam gyan karma adi anavritam anukullena krishna anushilana bhakti uttam so that will not be uttama bhakti at all and bhagwan in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran the same thing is there in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran also bhagwan speaking what he is speaking bhum sam paro dharmo yato bhakti raksha je ahetu ke apratihata jayatma su prasidati kavi kisi ne vichar nobody nobody if someone is actually making this no time is there with what kind of vichar they will do these people don't have time to make this kind of transcendental vichar all actually are there in material money for same fame position everybody is busy in that they don't have time to hear when this kind of vichar they will put in their mind that i am feeling very bad and distressful very very unhappy that all their vichar acharan whatever is there that challi balli everything they want in their life cheating themselves only fraudster number 1 everything is gone in vain all useless what to do agar vastavik if actual in actual guru seva and bhagwat seva that they are all this quality if being getting diverted all even even negative quality is getting diverted towards that because narottam das thakur has made this vichar in front of us that uh, angry anger we where we can use that kama lust where we can use it that lobe where we can use that greediness moho moho attraction where we can use that mother mother where we can use that mother matsarya the we cannot use that at all matsarya matsarya we cannot use that's why narottam das thakur not at all speaking about matsarya but who will hear bhakti mein thakur actually speaking in context to this that apart from bhakti if someone that in fine form gyan and karma some smell is there some uh, attraction is there then definitely that avidya will get elevated then definitely avidya will just get elevated in his life in his her life that in krishna anushilan any kind of in krishna anushilan any kind of any kind of whatever kind and whatever kind of pratikulya bhav even smell of pratikul bhav if pratikul bhav if it is there then maya chhannata it is maya as covered up with maya this all kind of things this all kind of things definitely you just need to leave that you have to throw it away you have to discard that you have to leave that shuddha krishna bhakti anushilan that shuddha krishna bhakti anushilan it is very much important to do shuddha krishna bhakti avalamban karne se by doing this avalamban of shuddha krishna bhakti if in varna ashram dharm externally he is there but like the case bhakti no thakur actually already shown us shivanand sen and shivas pandit all externally have just shown us this but whether vaishnav is not at all coming in the category of varnashram dharma at all vaishnav is outside that so 
that to shuddh krishna bhakti in order to get the avalamban according to the varna ashram dharma or whether according to the material greediness or what i can speak that swarup re vibram in under that category different different kind of dambh which is actually there in hidden and secret form that kind of dambh that kind of the demon asura that kind of demon uh, uh, dambh will definitely gonna removed completely that should the krishna bhakti just by getting uh, accepting that that inside varnashram dharma whether or in towards the material greediness or whether that swarup ve brahm inside that different different kinds of hidden dambh are actually that false ego is there automatically it will get removed destroy completely okay that i have already discussed what is dambh that yesterday i was not at all happy in order to discuss now actually definitely i will speak another two words on this and now that tenth number that apurvrati that what you are speaking that apurvrati apurva means that topmost that jivas if you can see the life of jivas just by investigating any jiva you are investigating his life whether jiva means that those who have life especially i am speaking about uh, humans human beings that jivas especially human beings though which is not at all even seen before that apurv which is not at all seen before that kind of rati can was not seen in the past so you just uh, show me that in the present life who is actually a human being that doing even millions and millions of years that kind of flow that flow of uh, flow that is actually flow is going on of a vidya never and never that kind of atma uh, sharnagati that uh, that apurvrati is actually getting uh, manifested in the life of those bonded jivas very nice kirtan it is so apurva means that previously it was not there whether jeev is from infinity period is going on so in this infinity period so there is no time like this that at that time particular time from what time that jeevas are actually getting bahirmukh there is no time regarding that and in chaitanya jagamrit also especially it is written that two category jeevas are there one is one is anukul anukul and other is pratikul do two are there nitya bahirmukh nitya bahirmukh and nitya unmukh they are all the time they, those who are vimukh they are from infinity time they are actually vimukh so whatever be the case that atmarati means atmarati means that is atmarati is equivalent to shuddha bhakti atma ramasya munayo nirgancha apurukrame kurvanti ahi tukin bhakti e jo shlok hai this shloka what is there in that about atma so much uh, uh, detailed discussion is there about atma each and every word yeah, about atma each and every word Ma- mahaprabhu what is you mean by atma what is the act mahaprabhu has given the detailed discussion about that you can open that and see atma ka that about atma in order to give the detailed discussion about a lot of discussion regarding atma is actually given lekin but agar if with correct which are if you are doing this that atma atmaruti that atmarati mane hota hai it means that jo those paramatma hamara hai that paramatma who is there inside our heart iska pati that towards that that our jeev atma that our jeev atma that kind of spontaneous non stop unconditional seva mood is there that is called atmarati that is called shuddharati that atmarati means that shuddharati you understand the point that bonded jivas this shuddharati 
that from infinity period it is actually getting connected with the material things and they are just rubbing it with material desires since time memorial since time immemorial this kind of rolling down with matters and this has become a chronic disease This has become one kind of chronic disease for all the jivas. Whether jivas are having no connection with the uh, material material things, but this is one kind of chronic disease what jivas are having. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is speaking this that in bonded jivas, this ling body, subtle body, in what they are actually getting, they are actually getting in this body, and just like ghost, one kind of uh, very nice enjoyment is being. Uh, created by maya devi and he don't want to understand that he, he don't have any kind of relationship with all these things no relationship is there that what he is actually wasting his time why he is wasting his time i don't know jaya sanmahitam jeevaha eh atmanam trigunatmakam paro gopi manote anartham tat kitan chahi paddhati ye kai var rakhe lot of times i have already discussed this point that still no connection is there but like host is actually just going like towards that so what to do now we can't do anything that apurvrati means that which was not at all uh, seen which is not at all uh, seen before that shuddharati that atmarati is there which is actually connected to bhagavat tat krishna which is actually related to krishna because krishna is actually inside our atma who is krishna that he is of our atma that krishna is the atma of atma that is is called param atma that if krishna is not there then what is the value of atma you tell me in bonded condition this kind of rati that shuddha rati is in so much less percentage that in whatever percentage under the under the guidance of uh, pure guru vaishnav this percent percentage of rati will just get increased and elevated uh, it definitely in the, that percentage only that kind of apurva rati that kind of exposure will be given according to that percentage you understand the point so apurva rati yesterday i already discussed you they won't understand what it is that so that's why i have just explained it today that's why apurva rati i have just uh, given you one kind of uh, hint some vichar i have given in small uh, small vichar i have just given by the kripa of pure guru vaishnav and krishna i have given that and uh, now you take the conclusion that what ragunath das goswami pad what ragunath das goswami pad he wants to speak that you see that ragunath das goswami pad actually speaking रघुनाथ दस गोस्वामी वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दैट that extremely kururatim apurvam otitaram e jo otitaram shabd hai that atitaram this word is here no kururatim rutum rotim kurute aur directly bole and directly is speaking ratim kuru ye this kururatim kururatim this is actually okay up till there by the kripa of krishna and guru vishnu have discussed and kururati apurvam that i have already discussed atitaram that extreme extremely atitaram means extremely this which are you just need to make this is not that you are doing okay if it is done then done when not done what to do Nobody. not like that that extremely you just need to try that that uh, with full vyakul mood that vyakul mood is there tremendous uh, attraction that kind of mood is there with full vyakulta that someone is actually getting a full uh, utkantha that oh please save me bhagwan i am getting looted i am gone this is actually called topmost vyakul bhav this is not an ordinary bhav like in the ordinary times you are calling 
that and just to call bhagwan with tremendous mood tremendous uh, vyakulta that definitely lot of uh, uh, effect is there when you are calling with the topmost vyakulta bhakti mein thakur actually speaking that if in your uh, uh, luck is there then you can get darshan otherwise not don't uncertain luck bhakti mein thakur speaking that definitely i need to have that in whatever percentage that rigidity and confirmation and resolution will come inside your heart into the up till that percentage that kind of atma bal that chit bal that will definitely get manifest inside your heart definitely it's it will gonna manifest and inside your heart that kind of karm prasut in hidden form if slight smell of karm and gyan is there of material material karm and gyan it will just definitely gonna removed completely and it will just clean you so much that you will become you will be getting shuddha bhakti shila roop ko swami was speaking कृपा in that much percentage and it will go on increasing that kind of kripa on us so this all kind of instruction the actual purport is that in bhakti mutha ko speaking in two words to us that uh, definitely we gonna uh, manifest that that up till that point up till what percentage that sadhu sang association of sadhu with full uh, that appropriate exact sadhu sang you are getting that real sadhu sang you are getting then that kind of power of association of sadhu according to that that karma if it is if it is not at all getting removed your karma material karma up till that point that association of sadhu on the basis of the power of association of sadhu that karma is not at all getting removed up till that point shraddha will not come inside your heart i have just given one example regarding this like 2 to 4 years back i can uh, remember that one person in bag bazar gaudiya math gaudiya mission he used to come there every time every day and uh, morning and evening both he used to come and whether in shri chaitanya gaudiya math this uh, that satish mukherjee also he used to come there but uh, one example i will give you that you can understand the actual siddhant one person used to come to the math morning and evening both time in shri chaitanya gaudiya math that very old madewadi person used to come and he used to come there in the math morning and evening time and pichle kai saalon that from previous so much years maharaj previous so much years maybe from 20 years last 20 years he is coming to shri gaudiya math and he is actually putting one dandwad and uh, again evening evening is coming and he is putting dandwad but in whole this 20 years life life time of 20 years in that 20 years you see so much amazing it is so much surprising and amazing this point is so much surprising that in this whole 20 years he is coming to gaudiya math and he is taking charnamrat everything he is doing for 20 years continuously he is coming and going but even one time he hasn't thought that i need one lotus feet of sadguru it is very much important and to do bhajan is very much important he hasn't thought that you understand the point why because inside his heart that actual shraddha is not at all there there is he is deficient of act, uh, actual shraddha there is deficiency of actual shraddha inside his heart ava prabhuja charan that prabhu par parapujya shila bhakti vigyan bharti ko swami maharaj in front of him also jalandhar one uh, lady asked of jalandhar that maharaj that from previous 
30, 35 years or 40 years, I am actually coming to the temple and in the morning time I am doing Aarti Darshan and in the evening time, every time I am doing all things. But up till now, I haven't realized anything at all. Everything I am actually doing in the mud, Ekadshi, etc. but no realization is there. What to do? Maharaj actually speaking to Mataji that how you can realize that, how you can feel, how you can feel and realize, you tell me, that you are haven't you have you just uh, sit and thought that who is actually Guru Vaishnava who is Bhagwan in my life like all actually son-in-law daughter-in-law you are taking that if he, something will happen to son-in-law then you will just cry very loudly so that thing he hasn't happened in your life if relationship is not there with Bhagwan that you haven't taken any relationship with Bhagwan. Have you got your relationship with Bhagwan? Whether he is your son, whether he is your uh, father, who he is. Have you made the relationship with Bhagwan? That Krishna is who? That who is actually standing here? That you are just thinking one kind of murti is there, of rock. That's it. But uh, this kind of, from so much years you are actually coming to temple. That have you ever think that Krishna is who? That what kind of relationship that whether he is my husband, whether he is my lover, or whether he is who is, whether he is my father, that you have, uh, have uh, anyhow you understood that kind of relationship, whether he is my son, you ha- no kind of relationship you have made with Krishna, that's why you haven't, uh, haven't done anything in your life. For not even you, for each and every person, whether he is sannyasa acharya, if no relationship they have, they have made, no then whether on whatever kind of stage he is, but whether they have made relationship with Bhagwan or not, if they have made with full loud voice, they are speaking, they have made. Our Bhakti Vallabh Tirth Goswami Maharaj used to speak, that just touch Shalagram and speak, that actually, truth, that for actual Bhagwat Bhajan, to get Bhagwan, they are actually one, just by uh, just having their chest up. Maharaj having his chest up, used to speak, nobody wants Bhagwan at all. A zero, 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 everything is zero. Baba Maharaj used to speak this. So this is the actual thing what to do. So this person from last 20 years is coming to mud and is and mother actually from 30 to 40 years she is coming to the mud. But in a very from before marriage she is coming to the temple. In Jalandar only her marriage is done. But up till now she is not at all feeling anything. Why? Because her relationship, she don't know about the relationship with Bhagwan. Whether she has got Harinam from Gurudev or whether got Diksha Mantra, I don't know whether he has got this or not. I don't know this much. This much information I don't have. But whatever be the case, that by relationship, by Sambandha Gyan, that actual Ishtabastu, that same object, that kind of Preeti definitely will be there. That Prema will be there. When Ishtabastu, Sebhavastu, no relationship is there, then what kind of... Uh, that what you can do then? Nothing is there to do at all. No relationship is there. Whether about Diksha, that is called to just activate Sambandha Gyan, but that is not actual Diksha if you haven't activated your relationship. Prabhupada speaking this, the Prabhupada, that the meaning of Diksha means that Divya Gyan. When, when common sense is not at all there, then how you can get Divya Gyan? It means that his Diksha is not at all complete. So then what is done? Only Sukriti is being done. Only Sukriti he will get up till this point. He is actually doing a lot of things. Only Sukriti will be done in him uh, up till this point. No relationship is there. No Guru Seva he has done. That how he can do Vaishnav Seva and Guru Seva, you tell me. It is not that easy to do. All actually rubbishness, all foolishness. That's it. So this uh, Madhwadi person who used to come, he hasn't thought up till now that we need the actual... Uh, uh, shelter of Sadguru, he hasn't thought of that. Why? Because his relationship is not there with Bhagwan. He hasn't done any kind of Sadhu Sang. In Mat he already used to come, but his actual Sadhu Sang is not done. Why? Why? 
उसका बाद अनोख निवृत्ति ही शाद आदो सद्या आदो सद्या तथ साधु संग भजन क्रिया तत अनथ निवृत्ति साध निष्ठा रुचि अथास्तो भाव this all actually has gone forward we will discuss so this is the actual reason that so much persons of this material world you see the actual condition of this material world that those who are actually serious that pure guru vaishnav they are actually start all the time crying just by seeing the actual condition of the whole material world all actually drama drama is going on nobody wants to hear whole world will go to hell what to do we can't do anything Nobody wants to hear. Everyone is doing drama. So, shraddha, if it is not at all there inside your heart, then it means that up till that point you haven't got shraddha. Then any amount of advice you. Such a man who is busy with matter, less interested about this thing, all your preaching, all your advice can come to a flop end. Everything will be get useless. Bhakti Mohan Thakur actually has written this point. Up till they don't have got their consciousness back, then this kind of all drama will be going on. This kind of sadhu desh, that good advice, that absolute advice, in order to digest that, they don't have the quality to digest that. Uh, uh, whether he is in whatever ways, whether he is sannyas, acharya, whosoever is, about that I am not at all speaking that, because nowadays everything can happen. Who can stop whom? Nothing can be stopped at all. So whatever they want to do, they can do. Only you just give vote to me. Whatever you can do, you do. I don't need anything. I need vote. <laughs> When you will just uh, sit, no. That who all are there? That I am yours. That just this much voting I need. That's it. Otherwise, whatever you want to do, you do. That if shraddha is actually there, if shraddha you have got. If Shraddha you have got inside your heart, then definitely that Diksha Guru onto his lotus feet he must have taken, uh, he has taken uh, uh, busy to take the shelter of Satguru Diksha Guru, but he was not. You understand the point? Just by taking the mantra, Diksha and Diksha Guru, that with full Atmarati you just need to serve him and you worship him. This is in Bhagwaji Mahapurana also. Lot of uh, examples are there. Bhakti ek esham Guru Deva Tatma. Bhakti ek esham Guru Deva Tatma. Atat Guru. It means that Guru Dev is your just just think himself as friend. You just just think him as his Atma of Atma. That you need to accept Guru Dev like that. And Kanishth Devotee, Madhyam, Madhyam Adhikari, Uttam Adhikari, that all three kinds of ranks are there. That Vaishnava Vrind, that with appropriate. Why I have spoken appropriate? That I am not speaking in the Shastra. It is written. Narottam Das Thakur actually writing this. मेकिंग दिस विचार What is speaking? That is the point, no? That is the same point. Bhakti Mr. Thakur, what he is speaking? That three kinds of Vaishnav that grades are having, that they need to give appropriate as it is. What is actually required? That kind of piety and respect. You just need to give that, and you need to respect that accordingly. It's not like that. Kanis to Guru is very, very nice. Money is all money. You or a Maharaj, you come here. Then definitely this person gonna destroy you. So much destruction he will create in your bhakti life that in order to make up again, it is will be very difficult to get. And madhya madhikari is also there. You will give too much respect. You haven't given respect that much to him. That you have ignored him. That uttam madhikari has done very topmost uttam. You haven't understood him. You because he don't have any money. No bank account is here. Nothing is there. Oh, from here he has come. Uh, You haven't respected him. You've done a prad. 
and uh, you are gone into hell that's it so that's why i have told a lot of time and just praised in open hari katha that online offline zoom everywhere so only this ta- thing you have to do up to this point don't show any kind of uh, over confidence or over intelligence i have already just prayed them that don't show to- uh, over uh, confidence and over intelligence at all don't be over smart only this much you just need to need do only this much you need to do that guru vash guru tattva vashna tattva that you just need to preach that this is not actual preaching what you are preaching why because it is not in line with the prabhupad bhakti siddhant sarasvati thakur you are preaching is not at all not at all not at all preaching three times i am speaking three true times speaking this much power i can speak with your preaching is not actual preaching why because you are not in the line of the prabhupad and you are not at all speaking on to the platform what the prabhupad bhakti siddhant sarasvati thakur prabhupad speaking that's why your preaching is not preaching only you do this much just give on mercy on us that whatever kind of pure guru vishnu tat that you just go on speak that rupanuga raganuga just no, no need to speak that in this whole material world will get destroyed actual thing already the uh, material world is destroyed <laughs> but you are speaking like this only just guru vishnu tat you speak that's it minimum years after years you just speak of that if of a preaching is just to expose guru vishnu we are not at all having this vichar then this preaching is not preaching this is mis preaching like in kunj vihari vishnu vidya bhushan kunj da that uh, he is taking prabhupad uh, forcefully to calcutta that why you have come to this material world that if you will not at all protect this material world then why you have come definitely you have to go to calcutta otherwise i will die you have to go that's it and the prabhupada actually is taking to calcutta to hell <laughs> calcutta is hell for prabhupada is not is not hell is actually vacant but we are for infinite of you it is for him that we can get that in order to expose the prabhupad bhakti saraswati thakur prabhupad kunjda has so much uh, support if you will think that you will just get uh, totally amazed and surprised shocked someone actually questioning me that uh, sometimes before from america that maharaj that with external vichar bhakti la bhakti la sthit ko swami maharaj kuch aisa he is kuch uh, behavior he is actually doing this kind of behavior that in which parambudivash parambudivash madhav ko swami maharaj hayagri brahmachari has to go away from what also bharti maharaj also writing this and i also become very surprised that chila bhakti vilas tirth ko swami maharaj that definitely he just reconcile it by our creator how to reconcile it that this prabhupad prest kunj kunjvari vidyabhushan maybe some kind of this behavior strange behavior is there in which that hayagriam brahmachari that madhav ko swami maharaj that all the disciples are getting very uh, feel feel unhappy but how is uh, successful to reconcile i have already written one article regarding this i have just uh, published that whether it is published or not i don't know maybe tomorrow it will get published that article you just uh, read that article and you tell me but very surprising thing is there that bhakti vilas tirth goswami maharaj that kunj bihari that who is prabhupad prest that he whatever he has done in that millions and millions of uh, uh, disadvantage has been done by some international preacher who has done given all foul words to our guru or what to do madhav goswami maharaj he is actually speaking beast to him everything is it written but in that the why that response is not coming for that person i have already talked then definitely some reason will be there why the actual reason is that that they don't know about that at all that they don't know about the sila bhakti vigyan bharti sila bhakti vilas tirth maharaj that our shila tirth ko swami maharaj bhakti lo tirth ko swami maharaj they don't know about that what he is speaking even vaman ko swami maharaj also don't know 
कि दे डोंट नो अबाउट दैट श्रीधर गोस्वामी महाराज ओपनली दैट मच ही डोंट नो मे बी वेरी स्लाइटली ही नो बट दैट मच ओपनली ही डोंट नो एट ऑल शीला श्रीधर गोस्वामी दैट्स वाई ही स्पीकिंग दैट योर सोसाइटी यू जस्ट नीड टू कट दैट दैट इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रेस्टीज ऑफ योर आचार्यशिप अदरवाइज यू जस्ट नीड टू मे बी टू नॉट टूडे मे बी फिफ्टी ईयर्स आफ्टर हंड्रेड ईयर्स यू जस्ट नीड टू गेट द वेरी रिजल्ट दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट अपराध यू आर डूइंग दैट यू ग्रेट ऑफेंस यू हैव डन महाराज ऑलरेडी हैव जस्ट रिटर्न वन लेटर सो वॉट एवर बी द केस सो बुद्ध थ्री काइंड ऑफ वैष्णव वॉट आई हैलरेडी टोल्ड यू थ्री ग्रेड ऑफ वैष्णव that kind of respect how you do need to respect them that is very much necessary and important to understand and another example i'll give you regarding this so that you can understand it more in deep that uh, how our krishnadas kaviraj goswami that in bardhaman in chamat pukur one place is there that his own place is there in uh, that the avirbhav place that he at his own place that one festival actually is being there in jamat pukur and all the devotees are actually being called all devotees are called there and in this uh, invitation that mean ketan ramdas mean ketan ramdas that topmost devotee of nitanand that parshad of nitanand prabhu he is non different from nitanand mean ketan ramdas he also got the invitation and he also just uh, came to the festival and after just reaching there he is actually top most uh, prema he is having that inside him that who is actually just uh, he is making one uh, stick on to the other person and just like mad he is just sometimes laughing and just slapping someone with prema as if not like it's he is himself nitanand prabhu inside his heart all the time nitanand prabhu is there inside their heart mean ketan ramdas it means that nitanand prabhu he is actually came in in bahman pukur that at the house of krishna das kavi raj goswami that previous house and pujari gunanam mishra he is not at all paying so much respect okay he has come he has come okay not paying and that much respect he is not paying respect at all and and shila krishna das kavi raj goswami bol goswami he is his own brother he also he is don't have this much kind of uh, faith he has full faith on gorang mahaprabhu that gunanand mishra but on to lotus feet of nitanand prabhu he don't have that much faith now okay he has come okay that that much faith is not there so this is aprad mean ketan ramdas who has already came and after coming he is just laughing and speaking ha <laughs> ha this is actually suta dev that that is suta who rom harshan suta he is that balram when he came he is not at all paying respect to him not at all getting up so this is the actual point that by he is not at all asking his own respect that you can miss you can have misconception that he is balram himself you have an understand you are not understanding the point he actually came and definitely that nitanand balram is taking inside his heart that's why he is speaking not for his own respect not for his own respect respect is actually of balram only that's why he is speaking that that baldau when actually in the name kshetra who is not at all coming and welcoming balram that is rom harshan same rom harshan it means that nitanand prabhu mean ketan ramdas inside the heart of mean ketan ramdas is already there inside him and he is getting disrespected he no kind of respect is given to him and after that he just by his own stick he has just break that into pieces and gone away and krishna das kavira goswami has written what krishna das kavira maharaj speaking at that moment सर्वनाश मीन्स सब कुछ ही नाथ मीन्स दैट सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन इज गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड भक्ति इज डिस्ट्रॉयड वॉट एवर इज देयर एवरीथिंग इज गॉन फ्रॉम हिस हार्ट इज टोटली डिरेल्ड 
So now on is this kind of condition about Nityanand Prabhu, someone is actually getting doubt. About Gorang Mahaprabhu, they are actually making doubt. So up till what point I can speak? You tell me. That even up till the last breath, breath this is my resolution. That is my resolution up till last breath. That this vichar I will definitely speak. What kind of low, so much vichar is there? Why Janev, why red cloth is there in God? From where sannyas they are getting? Each and everything, one by one, just by breaking their face, I will speak in front of them. Then another vichar actually is coming. What from uh, Prabhupada got that Panchatattva Mantra from Gaur Mantra? How he is getting? Why he is doing that? How we can trust the Prabhupada? Huh. Foolish number one. So like this he is actually they are writing and I am actually becoming surprised. I am getting surprised what it is. If this kind of uh, all uh, eternal parshad of Bhaktivinoda Thakur Prabhupada that in Vrindavan one person speaking all against Bhaktivinoda Thakur all actually Bhaktivinoda Thakur writing wrong. Like this they are speaking. You see, this is the condition they, that Bhakti Thakur writing wrong. Are foolish? <laughs> and in, even no backbone is there of this in this whole um, Gaudiya Samaj that they can just speak uh, about them. But and I am speaking about the Prabhupada, so they will come and attack me. So they don't uh, don't have backbone at all to just come in come in up front and speak. Uh, they are actually without backbone. That like snake tortoise. That just by chest they are actually going, no, without bone. <laughs> if backbone is there, then why? They are not at all doing protest. Nobody is there, no acharya is there who can protest. That in our sampradaya, that they are not at all doing protest. Why they are actually doing that? Tell me. They will not speak like that. Everyone actually going according to their... Are we will go according to a hotel they are actually maintaining. They are maintaining their hotel. The, your, your work is not to not to manage mutt. You just manage hotel. Gurudev all, always used to speak komat. This is not mutt. This is hotel. Komat. Whatever I can speak is very less what to do. So this is the condition like this. Three kind of Vaishnav that grades are there appropriate to the point that respect should be there. Sarvam Bhattacharya also in the four months what kind of uh, invitation he has given to Mahaprabhu that he is given one kind of uh, description that he is speaking that all the Vaishnav all the time, if you will take all the Vaishnavas at once, that kind of due honor each and every Vaishnav requires, I can't give that. So that that's why altogether I won't ask them. Who is telling? Sarvam Bhattacharya speaking. That who is the actual Parshad of Bhagavan, he is speaking that. So Prabhu, when you will come, just your some Swarup Gosai Govind, you can take with them. And in the four months, that just you can divide and bring all the devotees. This day he will come, and Parmanand Puri will come, Bar- Bar- Brahmanand Bharti will come, and others will come. Okay, everyone could divide and come. It's all written there that all together, if they will come, all the Vaishnavas, then that what kind of owner and what kind of grade is there that definitely you will do some kind of politics. Those who will be doing oiling of yours, you will give him the Savapati Asan and you will just give him money. This is your own choice what you want to do. That you want your own tail. Your own tail. You are just... Uh, you are cutting it with a razor blade, sharp sharp blade or putting it on your uh, neck as a mala. What will come in can come in my life. I have just already cut that in like a cancer. I know nothing will happen at all. That much faith faith I have on Guru Vaishnav. Nothing can be done. If someone actually can put question that I am actually with full answer, I am actually thinking that if someone actually question that when Narottam Das Thakur has given a big festival from the big, big Vaishnav has gone. So what is the case there? Where actually you were? So this question, someone can go. The answer of this is that. The answer of this is that. That is actually called Narottam Das Thakur. The answer of this is that. His name is Narottam Das Thakur. That this Sabha, the leading partner is Janma Mata Thakurani. 
it means Nityanand Swayam, he is. That Janma Madhuragurami means Nityanand Prabhu himself. So, non different. Shri Nivasacharya, Narutam Nashthakur, up till what big, big Vaishnav, topmost, that in order to welcome that, only that kind of power is there, that who is the king, that kind of power is only having, that only they have that power, everything they are having, it's already written there, about Narutam Das Thakur, you can just read that, the life, life history of Narutam Das Thakur. Santosh that so much power is there in Santosh that that each and every Vaishnav how to respect them and those uh, olden days those days ancient days not now those 500 years back million, millions of rupees he used to spend and whatever kind of staying everything how we just need to give everything getting up so much well organized it was then we cannot even imagine that at all if this kind of question comes, then I can just can tell you and research and tell you that this Narottam Das, he is actually Narottam Das Thakur, he is Srinivasacharya. Who is he? He is, she is Shamananda Prabhu. He is Shamananda Prabhu. So nice, topmost law, topmost Vaishnavas are there. I also have seen in the Shastras. That Vrindavan Das Thakur Mahashe also have gone at that time. Jan Mamata Thakurani with, them, with her. So what kind of you see, oof, what you can see, speak like that. So topmost Vaishnav, that organization, whether actually is required. The up till, I have already told about Param Puja, but Madhav Goswami Maharaj. At the festival of Madhav Goswami, each and every person have just, uh, so what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of uh, respect each and every Vaishnav is required. So all this kind of uh, time already gone away. All that time is gone. Nothing is there. No. All empty. All actually rubbish and cheater and fraudsters are there. The, because he has money. This which are is that how many times foreign trip he has done. That is the topmost thing. That he will be the Acharya Pati Asan he will be going. <laughs> what you can do in that Gaur Kishore Das Babaji no money he is having but what you can just uh, give him and sit him on the Acharya Asan Savapati Asan nobody will give him Are Baba what will do and come on the Acharya Asan Baba will just do your Shraddha <laughs> what day and night you are doing Shraddha na? your own Shraddha he will do <laughs> that much power Baba is having Gaur Kishore Das Baba. that is called Gaur Kishore Das Baba. so whatever be the case up till here, this which are will be here, and uh, that three kind of Vaishnav, how that whatever kind of respect and honor you just need to give to a particular Vaishnav. That up till this, what kind of other uh, proof I can give in Pani Hati that Raga Pandit, that with Raga Prabhu, our Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that from his previous ashram when he was living when he just came to Panihati to all together that Swaran Mudra everything he has just collected that who has he, he has given it in the hands of Raghav Pandit and he's just uh, praying to Raghav Pandit that I don't know what kind of grade and what honor I have to give to a particular Vaishnav that's why that according to you that you can just distribute that whatever kind of pranam you can give how, whatever kind of examples I can give it to you that Raga Pandit in, in his hand, whatever kind of gold, silver, money, whatever is there, Swaran Mudra, clothes, everything he has given in, in the hands of Raga Pandit. And you think whatever is good because you know more that who actually is what grade of Vaishnava, I don't know. He is actually doing Leela that you give according to the grade of the Vaishnava. Now, actually, Pranami today is enjoyment. Hmm. Bhakti Thakur actually writing Pranami to give it strictly prohibited. In the Shastra, it is totally uh, absurd to give. Pathyo means that your road expenses we are giving. <laughs> they are actually giving like that. So, this is the case. So, like this is actual condition. So, definitely need to respect that. So, in mantra and naam, name and mantra, that tremendous uh, attraction. It's not like that tremendous preeti should be there. Tremendously food, tremendous attention and attraction should be there towards mantra and naam. Like the, some other thing, 
should not at all be there inside your heart that other attention you are getting that name fame position your sanyasi still it's going on that that's not good so it's all actually going on maharaj everything is going on what to do duniya badal gaya insaan that yugal tat yugal tat means that shri shri radha govind the divine couple this yugal tat that is more than uh, just think it more than your life just think more than your life this radha govind divine couple it is more than your life and with full sharnagati that just uh, bow down onto the lotus feet of the lotus feet of guru vishnu oh just save me protect me just start crying just i am going i am already going into hell just save me that's it this kind of prayer should be there you understand the point up till this we will be just giving rest we don't have time today we don't have time just forgive me bhakti parishan bhavu virakti annatra chaisotri ko ek kala prapadda manasyo yatha asnatah sutushti pushti khutpayo anugasam vanchakalpadurvasya ke pasindu vacha patitanan pavane bhyo vishnavyo namo